let's go! Time to look at the very cool Nappa releasing! And, it, it, wow, I can't believe they released only Nappa. Good thing there's no... Good thing there's no other unit coming with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's check out the cool... The cool new Nappa. Alright. Uh, melee type, that's good. Blue card, heal, key. Card draw speed for 40 counts. This is a good main. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this main. Heals... Gets key, gets card draw speed, and he draws a blue card. That's good. Uh, let me let me zoom in. Let's see. On um, battle star, gets eighty percent damage, thirty percent damage reduction. Cannot cancel. That's good. That's a, that's a pretty good amount, especially melee type. His stats are probably pretty good. When he enters, draws a strike. Change blasts into strikes. Get more damage reduction. And nullify enemy special actions that affect him. Changing cover. Okay, so you draw a strike, so he doesn't gain key on switching, but he guarantees that you have a strike, and any other blast you have also changes into strikes. If he had some sort of like minus strike cost or plus key here, this would be really insane, but this is still good, especially with this. Very powerful effect. And then every time you draw a strike or blast card, you heal by 3%, that's infinite. So you're going to be healing by 3% no matter what when you draw this on switch in. And when you get that card draw speed for 40 counts and you're just non-stop drawing cards, you're healing by 3% every time. And you get more strike damage. And he's switching his, his blast to strikes. I'm really liking his kit. And then every time he switches to the battle style, support a battle style, defense enemy. This is, this is a new type of passive. We've never seen anything like this before. And then he gives all the enemies one sub substitution count. And then he does a bit through the damage cut. So he, it, it doesn't really do much. But I guess... But like this is... Again, support type or defense type. Like the two weak types, he just he just bullies them even more. Okay. Blast. <coughs> Blast armor on his strikes. Also very strong. Uh, so here's he draws this on his main. Keep that in mind. Destroys all of his strike cards and then increases the damage based on the number of cards are destroyed. Oh... If you if you swap in and then use his main, you've got one strike guaranteed, and then any other blast you have also changes into strikes. You already have a ton of strikes, like you create strikes, which you can then use to destroy to get this. That's it. Um, uh, and he gets key on his green, and he randomly draws at most two new cards. You have three or fewer cards. Three. So what? He just. Oh, okay, okay. So. If you have three cards, then you only draw one. But if you have two cards, one card, or zero cards, then he draws two. And then he gives the enemy a little debuff. Okay, he's looking, he's looking, he's looking good. He's looking good, actually. Yeah, he's looking good. Uh, let's see. Saiyan. Saiyan Saga or Free Frieza Forest. I like that, actually. Why didn't El Great Ape Vegeta buff Frieza Forest? What, what does he buff that he can't do that? Oh, he's buffing powerful opponent. I guess that's more important. Do you buff? Well, actually, no. You wouldn't even be a part of Frieza Force at that point, right? Yeah, I know. This Vegeta's on Frieza Force, right? Yeah. I mean, I, it would have been nice if he buffed it. Would have been a good buff. But, I mean, Nappa being put in there is good. You can run Vegeta and Nappa on Saiyan anyways. And Saiyan Saga. Hmm. 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 Well, yeah, that's it. Okay. I like Nappa! Yeah, I definitely like him. Frieza Force buff, I mean... Uh, you can use these three, I guess. Oh yeah, and actually Robbery in the pool are there as well. And he, uh, Zenkai Ginyu. I mean, yeah, you can make a decent Frieza Force setup. I mean, who are you losing by not running Lineage itself? Like, what are you losing here? Nothing? Okay, good. Am I crazy? Where are the other... Yeah, green metal cooler. You... I don't know. I don't know. It's good. Nappa's a good addition to that team. And now we get into the funny business. What is this? I want to say first off... Damn. Is he cool. Like, we haven't even seen his animations yet. But, like... Go on Piccolo... Go on and Piccolo assist. Like... Look how good his art looks. 
But I gotta hate this, dude. I'm sorry. Like, there's no way. So, this is a uh, base. We gotta go base first. Whoops. Okay. Draws a. Oh my god. This is a good main. For just pre transformation. Gets key. Gets a ton of blast damage. And he draws a blast. This is 10 timer counts. Must have laughed. Okay. Uh, revive with 40% health when own health reaches zero. If the own health reaches due to enemy self destruct that the character will not revive. Huh? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. You know what that means. Green Cyberman. He was the hero. Yes, he's got the self destruct. Green Android 6, Zenka Android 16 is still decent as well. Oh. 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 What if? So he's green. What if the ultimate Chiaotzu gets a Zenkai and his self destruct just one shots this guy because he has type advantage? It just wipes this guy out. Oh, please, please, oh my god, please, they need to Zenkai the ultimate Chiaotzu. He has type advantage, and this guy doesn't revive if you hit him? Oh my god. I, all would be forgiven, all would be forgiven if they did that. Oh, please, please, like, next week, after these guys release, drop him. Drop the ultimate Chiaotzu Zenkai. Holy, would I be happy. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, he gets 30 key, 4% damage. Shortens ally sub counts. Okay, after enemy attack is over. Well, I mean, that's, that's kind of weird, but yeah. Uh, knocks enemy. Uh, for cover chain. They have a. Oh, they have a strike. They have a strike cover change. They have a revive and a cover change. Holy. Uh, until he revives, he gets 50% damage. 3% thing. By other character Piccolo. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you just run Elf Piccolo, right? He's on Regen and uh, Saiyan Saga. I guess that's, they put a very small incentive to not use him on Sun Family. Yeah, he gets a, he gets 15% extra damage with Piccolo. Okay, wow. Uh, blue card, it's a charging forward one, doesn't do much, okay. Double Demon Burst, if that's like a double Misenko from them, that's awesome. Piccolo scolding, you draw a blue card, you get 30 key, oh wow, man, he's just pulling key. He looks very good in his first form. What does he do after revive? Heals, destroys all your enemy cards, gets some damage. Drugs. So nothing too crazy. Destroying all the enemy cards is kind of annoying, but I mean you can relatively draw that back fast. 10% isn't the most. Five counts is good though. So upon revival, you get 15% own own damage. Okay, so you get the same 50% damage, but then you get another 60%, but only lasts 30 counts. I mean, if you're reviving, it's probably later in the match anyways, though. Uh, and he debuffs the enemy. When he enters, he gets key. And he gets, uh... Wait a minute. He has no defense. Yeah. This guy has, uh... Where is it? Am I crazy? Yeah, he has 30% damage uh, reduction. This guy has nothing. He just he just explodes in damage. I actually like I actually like that. I mean, just design wise, here that 30% damage reduction is just Piccolo alongside him, right? And then Piccolo dies. He goes. He gets his rage boost, where he shoots the Misenko. 100 key. That's his key rising up to use the Misenko. And then this 60% extra damage is that extra power he got from the Rage Boost. I actually like that, like, design-wise. That's pretty sick. And it also helps that, you know, he's weaker after his revives, you can kill him. Getting card draw speed on the green is pretty crazy, though. Oh! This, okay. So he has two things that push you to use him on Saiyan Saga instead of, um... Instead of Sun Family. This measly 15% damage... And this very strong green card, key and card draw speed, is if you run him on Saiyan Saga, you got a you got a little, this little rat down here. 
Nah, he's here. I take that back. Yadrobi's not a rat. Yadrobi is a is a goat for real. Like one of the best DXs, and uh, he holds a green card. So you pair that with this guy getting key and card draw speed on his green. Damn. You know. Ah, uh, I, I you know this this video was a uh, uh, it was good. Um, what is it? This was a uh, uh, good for my mental health. You know, really helped me expel the rage from this guy. I like his um I like his moves. I like him. And um honestly, if I manage to pull Great Ape Vegeta, then I want both these guys too, and then I would just run all the all of them on Saiyan Saga. Like Saiyan Saga is a sick team now, look at this. You got LF Piccolo, you got Yajrobi. Wait, why are these Oh, this is for Z ability. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. I forgot this. I'm like, these guys are not on Saiyan Saga, but they buff it with their Z ability, which is really weird. Um, I mean, helps if you need bench, I guess. But, um, this is a pretty sick team, honestly. LF Piccolo, LF Vegeta, and then these two, and Yajrobi. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's five. And then, and then you get, um,. It makes you could get side. I mean, I was gonna say man to counter this guy, but then they're both green. Uh, you could run green, green, yellow. Ooh, you could run green, green, yellow. Cyberman, Gohan, and Piccolo. So Gohan gets the extra buffs from Piccolo. But or you would want to run Yajirobe for the green with Gohan. I don't know. You you actually have good options here. I feel like there's somebody good here that I'm forgetting. Oh yeah, there was this guy. I mean, he's he's pretty mid. Who cares? But he was the other new unit I was thinking. I mean, this this is a pretty sick team, honestly. Red Vegeta, Green Gohan, Blue Nappa, Yellow Piccolo, Purple Yajirobe, and then I guess this guy for the red, this guy's decent. This guy's decent, I guess, if you really need it. I mean, who, who's yellow that's really, like, so frightening that you would need, that like, you would have to bring that Goku? Um, I guess these four at the top are pretty powerful, huh? Android 17 as well. Yeah, I guess. I guess maybe you would be warranted to bring that Goku, but I mean the other guys are just way better. I do like this Saiyan Saga team though. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind making this I mean if I pulled the four new units and then pulled two more LF Piccolos to Zenkaim, this would be a pretty sick team. But um that's gonna do it for this video. Nappa good, Gohan good. Uh, I'm not looking forward to seeing Gohan run on Sun Family though. Uh, I mean, you see, you literally see these two next to each other, then this fat rat down here. But you know, if I ignore the Sun Family aspect, this guy for uh, Saiyan Saga and Regen too, I guess. He's pretty sick. I actually, uh, again, ignoring the the the, the Sun Family side of it. I actually like him. His art, I, I guarantee his animation is going to be sick. His art is sick. His kid is cool. Same applies to... Uh, honestly, yeah, same applies to all four of them. Vegeta, Yajirobe, Nappa, and Gohan. Uh, but yeah, end of video. Bye. See you in the next one. Let me know what you think.